everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Farron, your fashion guru, and today I'm gonna show you three simple methods to making skinny straps. You might wanna stay until the end because I'm gonna show you a trick on how to make a super skinny strap. So let's get into it. Is that an okay intro or I need to do that again with more enthusiasm? So this is my fashion studio. My name is Baron. All right. Mm hmm. Let's. Uh... One tool that you most definitely will need is this tool called a loop turner. And if you don't know what a loop turner does or what it is, you might want to go check out this video right here. Okay, so method number one is going to be the standard strap making method. For this method, I don't want my straps to stretch. So I am making it on the straight grain and my piece is about one and a half inches wide. Take your piece and you fold it in half. So we're gonna be just stitching right about there. Okay, so once you have your piece stitched all the way, back tacking at both ends, what I do is I just clip like a little corner off. This will help it turn a little bit easier, okay? You take your tool, which is a loop turner, stick the loop turner in, hook it on, and then flip this guy. Okay, and like magic, we're able to flip it onto the other side. Okay, so our strap ends up being a half inch. Then we're gonna iron that and it's gonna be nice and beautiful and crisp and there's no stretch. So you have a nice tight strap. So that's method number one. Method number two is bias cut with a string. If you don't have a loop turner, this method might be very useful for you. I have my piece. This is also cut at one and a half inches wide. You're gonna need a string of some sort. Whatever size of your string is, your strap is going to finish at that width, okay? If that makes any sense. But you'll see. You'll see what, what's gonna happen here. So, the secret is changing your foot on your sewing machine to a zipper foot. Take your string and you put it on the right side of your fabric and then you fold the fabric in half over your string, okay? What you're doing is you're securing your string into this little pocket that you're kind of making for it by just stitching across and then down all the way. Okay, you're kind of making like a piping, but not really. Stay with me. Now, make sure that your presser foot is right up against the string. This will ensure that you get a really super skinny strap, okay? The one thing I love about this method, the string acts kind of like a guide. Take a look at those stitches and how consistent and accurate this method is. I'm taking down probably a quarter of an inch, so my seam allowance is about an eighth of an inch, okay? Where you have secured your string, just cut that. So you have your little string end here. I'm trying to like shimmy this fabric over top of the end of the string right now and it's kind of just a little bit, it's a pain in the butt. But once you get it started, it's like magic. See, see the magic of the string? And then all you have to do is just like cut off your string, duh. Guess what, we're almost done. The last and final method is the super skinny strap and there is a bit of a trick to it. I am using bias tape, but you don't have to do this. You can use just your fabric from your project and cut it on the bias. This one is approximately one inch wide, and what I did was I just took bias tape and then ironed it flat. So we're taking our little strip and I'm folding it in half 
Okay, I'm using my presser foot as a guide of a quarter of an inch. If we find that the strap is still a bit too big, we can sew another line of stitching. Okay, pack tack, you know, do the thing. Do the thing. These skinny straps have a tendency to get stuck when you first start sewing it. My tip is to hold the threads while you're back tacking and when you go forward, you pull the threads and your bias tape won't get stuck, okay? Tip number two, in order for you to get these super skinny straps, you have to stretch your bias tape. I know that the rule is not to stretch bias. This is breaking the rule, so you can get super skinny straps. Okay, I am stretching my bias tape basically as far as it could possibly go. So after you've done that and you've stitched your bias tape all the way, if your seam allowance is bigger than a quarter of an inch, you might wanna trim it down. Now, you take your loop turner, booyah. It's very important that these straps are cut on the bias because it helps you get around the fabric and it makes it kind of stretchy. Okay, that was so much easier than, than the string. It might get a little stuck, so be patient. My videographer is not so patient. Okay, the reason you had to stretch your bias while stitching is because we're going to go to the iron and stretch the bias tape while ironing. So it could even get skinnier than a quarter of an inch, which is pretty insane. This is how you get the super to your skinny strap. You iron it. That's the trick. And I guess that's the end of the video. You know, I don't know how to close my videos. You gotta just, you, you just, you just gotta subscribe. Thank you for being here because you watched until the end. I appreciate you. I love hearing from you and I read every one of your comments. So, you know, leave me a little hi. How's it going? Skinny strap. You don't know what I'm talking about.